Hi friends, welcome to Saranya Recipe Box. Hope you all are doing good. So today recipe is going to be chicken tikka kebab in IFB micro oven. So let's begin the video. For that take a bowl and add half cup of hung curd. If your curd is little bit watery, strain it in a cotton cloth and then add it to the bowl. The consistency should be thick. It should not be watery because the masala have to stick to the chicken pieces. So it should be thick like this and the curd should be fresh. It should not be sore in taste. So after adding curd, let's add the masalas. Add one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste and uh, it's a very very simple process we can easily make it in home instead of buying from outside so after adding ginger garlic paste let's add the masalas quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder and half teaspoon of uh, garam masala and half teaspoon of kasturi methi which is crushed add everything Now let's add Kashmiri red chilli powder, 5 tablespoon. This is going to give a very rich color without any food color, artificial food color. So it's a very good choice of adding Kashmiri red chilli powder. If you're not using Kashmiri, in the other red chilli will not give a, a brighter color. That's it. Now give a nice mix. There should not be any lumps or something else. Now give a nice mix. Beat the curd nicely. Add salt to taste. Now mix it well. Now I have bought the chicken tikka piece from fresh to home. So this is a ready made uh, piece which is uh, mainly for uh, chicken tikka. It's available in Fresh to Home uh, website. That is the app. Now add the chicken pieces, which is cleaned in water. After adding, let's add lemon juice. That is one teaspoon of lemon juice. And add one teaspoon of uh, olive oil also. Add a teaspoon of olive oil. Now mix the masala, coat the masala with chicken very well with your hand. Nicely mix it. Now close it with the cling wrap and leave it in refrigerator for uh, at least uh, three hours or overnight. I'm going to leave it for overnight. So the masala will get uh, marinated really well. And the workload is also a little bit less. The next day morning, just remove it uh, from the fridge and leave it for half an hour uh, for that to come to the room temperature. So now after half an hour, remove the cling wrap and see how the masala has uh, marinated. Now uh, let's take a, a steel rack, which is a high steel rack, which is comes with the micro oven and grease it with oil. And uh, we are going to place the chicken tikka pieces in this. So I'm going to use the auto cook menu option. So I'm using this uh, steel rack, uh, higher one. So when you're placing, you should be very careful. It should not fall in between the gap and the steel rack. So place it carefully. Place all the chicken pieces. Drizzle few drops of oil and uh, leave it in the micro oven. And select the auto cook menu that is barbecue and select the weight uh, depending upon your chicken piece. I'm selecting 300 gram. It is uh, showing of time 21 minutes. Now the process has ended. Let's see how the chicken is cooked. From the top layer, it's very well cooked. Chicken tikka is super yummy and it's smelling awesome in my kitchen. And let's turn over to the bottom side and see how it is cooked. And the chicken cooking time is totally depending upon the chicken pieces which you are uh, using. So depending upon the tenderness, the cooking time will be different. So accordingly, you have to you know increase the time or increase the grams uh, uh, depending upon your chicken piece. So apply a little oil to the other side and we are going to grill this for two minutes. It is chicken is perfectly cooked. Only the masala have to, you know, get uh, grilled. So I'm using uh, grill mode for two minutes. 
and start now the super yummy and tasty chicken tikka kebab is now ready it's very very easy do give a try if hit the like button and also subscribe to saranya recipe box share with your friends and family have a nice day